Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Hope you have a good day and today we're gonna be talking about really interesting setup that actually our lovely community member shared with me. His name is Zeon and he actually showed me some really interesting trading setup he been using but Today we're not gonna be talking about this specific setup, but I kinda use the idea the way he used the Bollinger Band percentile and I kinda wanna share this uh, really interesting scalping setup and I can guarantee if you using this strategy or setup properly, you will be highly rewarded because the in the, the most case the risk reward ratio it's much higher than two times. But as I said, you have to be first really fast and second really really precise but anyway uh, without further ado let me explain you what this strategy is about we're gonna be using the bollinger band and bollinger band percentile so as you can see here we got the bollinger band with uh, basically a default setting and all i need to do is just uh, change the thickness a little bit because that's just the way i like to use it and however the Bollinger Band percentile will be increased the length by 200 and the standard deviation it will be just one as you can see I change the color and I add these two lines so first of all let me explain why I drew these lines and maybe also before we jump into the video because I'm using one minute chart I'm using this one minute chart guys because uh, there's gonna be plenty of examples how to show you uh, this specific setup but if you totally new beginner please don't trade one minute chart yeah of course I personally trade on one minute chart but I have plenty experience and I am super focused and I also uh, looking for a higher time frame to show my confluence and it's definitely something what is not really simple for beginners it's really advanced to trade on one minute chart so if you want to ask me on my personal opinion what time frame you should trade well it depends how much time you have but something between 5 and 15 minutes is pretty fine by me so let me explain why I drew these lines so for this particular lines what I was looking for is I was looking for the previous price action on the Bollinger Band percentile and I was basically trying to find the extreme value on the Bollinger Band percentile so peak on the top and the bottoms and I come up with conclusion then this threshold 2 and 1.5 and also the negative same value will be my threshold when I looking for some really interesting scalp and show you some example for instance here as you can see we got our threshold right here and as you can see we also uh, push the price higher to the extreme and at this particular point the price didn't go any further and as you can see it was really sniper entry for going short and as i said if you enter the position right here and um, write the whole movement you can see how insanely you will be rewarded now you might be also curious uh, what's the perfect entry well before i explain it i just want you to guys show that as you can notice i'm not using any kind of exponential moving average and the reason is because we will looking for the short entries if we have the basically extreme on the threshold on the top and if the value will be negative and it will hit our extremes which is for instance right here we are looking for the long entry and if you're following the exponential moving average uh, which to be fair I can actually show you then you will get a lot of fake signals or you wouldn't probably trade at all because for instance here you wouldn't short it because we are trading about 200 DMA but as you can see it would be extremely phenomenal trade so for this particular setup I'm not gonna be using any kind of exponential moving average okay now let's dive in to the setup itself so what I'm looking for once we reach some extreme then I'm looking for the price first decreasing or the value on the Bollinger Band percentile decreasing but at the same time I'm paying attention to this price action so what I want to see here is 
as you can see we trading outside the Bollinger Band until this particular candle and on this candle we basically close the candle inside the Bollinger Band so technically speaking this would be my short entry and if you enter the short position right here and focusing stop loss right here as you can see your only drawdown would be these three candles which is comparing to most of the setup it's phenomenal and technically speaking you you could even focus on the lower Bollinger Band percentile right here and you will get a risk reward ratio more than 1.5 so it's uh, really really good and to be fair you could scalp this and exit the position and as you can see here you got another attempt to push the price higher but as you can see it didn't kind of work well and now the value decreasing significantly to the downside so as you can see here we close the candle outside the Bollinger Band and the second candle closed below it so technically speaking you can enter short position right here and as you can see here two candles minimum or oh, to be fair only one candle right here was your drawdown and since then phenomenal trade for you now if you want to trade this type of setup, you wouldn't get probably that much signals a day because, the, as I said, this is uh, really something like a sniper entry because as you can see here, you could scalp these 3% in basically almost 2 hours which is phenomenal trade in my opinion and you would be probably done for the day if you're using uh, the proper size or maybe proper leverage. And to be fair, as you can see here, you can use this kind of threshold as a resistance area. So for instance here, as you can see, the price is kind of choppy, but what you're looking for, you're looking for, technically speaking, you're looking for the second touch, which is right here. You're looking for the second touch on the Bollinger Band percentile threshold. And as you can see, the price pushing lower, so technically speaking, you can enter another short position right here. And as you can see, if you're paying attention to Bollinger Band percentile, now we're going lower and we have a downtrend. So there's your another confluence and in another almost one hour, 1.5% in your pocket right away. And also another example why I really liked using the Bollinger Band percentile is this kind of price action. So as you can see here, you will get your long signal right here, which technically speaking, you could scalp the movement right here. But as you see the price dropping lower, but if you're paying attention to Bollinger Band percentile, we got an uptrend, which means uh, some bullish divergence. Uh, so if you didn't get um, any profit right here and didn't feel maybe even comfortable to open the long position, then you got multiple options to basically enter because you can participate to enter another long right here or right there. And once you're seeing one, two and three touches on the Bollinger Band percentile, then anywhere around this particular price action would be your optimal entry for going long. And if I take this uh, average price right here, up till here it's not 0.8% which is really really sweet scalping trade. And to be fair, as you can see price drop lower, but as you can see we didn't get any signal. However, if you pay attention again to the Bollinger Band percentile, you're basically seeing the price is not going any lower. What this price action basically is telling you is this is um, kind of irrelevant or the fake downtrend because as you can see here Bollinger Band percentile used the search the close candles and based on the closing candles we going higher so you would take probably this kind of setup as your opportunity to go long and to be fair if you're seeing something like this 1.6 percent in your pocket really phenomenal trade if you're using this Bollinger Band threshold properly but to be fair as you can see here there is still some potential gains in this particular area even though the price go lower 
you could still make some sweet uh, gains right here. And to be fair, as I said, uh, we got another threshold right here. We got some multiple candles to closing above it. Then we got some first um, significant pins to the high. And then we got some strong rejection by this back handle. And you could enter the short and scalp the movement up till here. And as you can see here, in the first example, we got some rejection first right here. So if you really quick scalper and maybe a little bit advanced, then you can scalp these uh, small movement uh, to the mid Bollinger Band midline or the Bollinger Band midline. But uh, maybe if you're not that um, advanced trader, you can just focus on these really big significant pumps and dumps. Uh, this is really good example. Price uh, increasing and then look this kind of dump right here. Also, you can see some small movement right here, but all these moves are really good um, profitable winning trade. Also, on this particular price action, we trade uh, outside the Bollinger Band, we close and you could go short up till here or technically speaking even to this particular Bollinger Band percentile. And you will get another entry signal right here. But also, as you can see, we got some really interesting uptrend. So you can also use the Bollinger Band percentile as a something like a long term trend. So. Once you start seeing something like this kind of price action and we basically right here, we twice break this trend line right here, then you could feel comfortable or it will give you the signal the trend is weakening. And also if you pay attention to the Bollinger Band percentile on the upside, it's decreasing while the price increasing. So as you can see, price increasing percentile decreasing what it tells you that it tells you maybe it's time to change the bias and as you can see here once you're seeing the price still pushing higher now it's even trading outside your extreme threshold then this is your optimal short entry with minimum risk uh, and i would say maximum reward because if you buy any chance, just blindly enter, which by the way, just don't trade blindly. Make sure to have something really, really specific to trade. But I just wanted to show you guys, if you're focusing on this kind of reversal signal, then here's your phenomenal trade and you will be done for the day. And to be fair, as you can see here, you will get another signal right here. Technically speaking, in this particular setup you will get really two sweet juicy trade with five time risk reward ratio and four time risk reward ratio so as you can see you don't need to have uh, multiple indicators on your chart you can use just a pretty simple setup but if you're using it uh, a little bit different way and properly it will be super extremely profitable for you guys and to be fair you can also use this type of setup for higher time frame as well but as you can see you will wait uh, 10 days for getting some your optimal signal and to be fair if you're using this Bollinger Band percentile you will anticipate to short around this area and as you can see we got the recent dump and the risk reward ratio almost nine times the normal trade so so i really believe this is a really interesting way how to use the bollinger band percentile i also use the bollinger band percentile for uh, spotting something like uh, double bottoms which to be fair you see in some divergence some significant divergence here as well and if you decide to use this uh, particular setup, just make sure to test your coin, your market, because this particular threshold maybe not works well for you. So you need to do your research to kind of see how the price uh, react to Bollinger Band percentile or certain period. And then you will draw your own threshold and focusing on the really phenomenal sniper entries. So yeah, I really hope this video finds you well. I believe it's really, really valuable. Never seen anyone uh, talking about this kind of uh, way how to use the Bollinger Band percentile. So I believe it really finds you helpful. So if it finds you helpful and watch this video up till now, that means you probably enjoy my content. So I would really appreciate if you leave a like. Meanwhile, have a wonderful day. Take care and see you next time. Happy trading.